Hi students, welcome to Preliminary Chemistry and Metals video number 18 on stoichiometry. Now, stoichiometry is a very big fancy chemistry word for using a bit of maths in chemistry. So I guess specifically the study of quantitative aspects of chemistry through formula and equations is a reasonable definition of stoichiometry. So this definition here is basically saying whenever we use mathematics to do some calculations around a chemical formula like H2O or an equation such as magnesium plus oxygen use magnesium oxide. We know we've got to balance these equations and one of the reasons that we do is in order to use them for calculations. So when we use chemical formula and equations to carry out calculations we call these stoichiometric calculations. I'm going to have a look at a couple of those in this video. Firstly we're going to involve uh, we're going to look at calculations which involve using Avogadro's number. Now you remember Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 of anything. This is one of these constants that you will be given you won't have to remember it um, but if you practice enough times, you'll, it'll, uh, you'll remember it automatically. So let's look at a, an example from something that we've already looked at before. So here is the electrolysis of water. Water can be decomposed into its elements, hydrogen and oxygen, through decomposition uh, by electricity. Avogadro's law suggests that two molecules of water are going to produce two molecules of hydrogen gas and one molecule of oxygen gas. If we use the mole concept we have two moles of H2O becoming two moles of H2 and one mole of O2. Now what happens if we actually do have two moles of water? What does this actually represent? Well, what it represents is two times 10, uh, sorry about that, two times 6.02 times 10 to the 23, or 12.04 times 10 to the 23, or if you prefer six, uh, sorry, 1.204 times 10 to the 24 molecules of water. How have we got that? Well, in order to find the number of particles, so in here is number, number of particles, I just rearranged this equation so that n is equal to the number of moles times Avogadro's number. So that's two lots of Avogadro's number down here. This gives me 1.204 times 10 to the 24 molecules of water. Now, using my same logic, I would have the same number of molecules, 1.204 times 10 to the 24 molecules of H2, but only 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules of O2. Now of course this can get even more complex if I ask you for the actual number of atoms of oxygen because you would then double Avogadro's number in order to get the number of oxygen atoms because each mole of O2 contains two oxygen atoms. Confused yet? Let's try something different. The other thing that we've had a little bit of a look at is the calculations involving number of moles. This is the equation over here. The number of moles is equal to mass over the molar mass. And of course, n is number of moles. So let's look at the same example. 2H2O gives 2H2 plus O2. And if we use the mole concept, we have two moles, a mole ratio of two to two to one. This becomes very important if you take these coefficients in front of each species out, and of course O2 doesn't have one, so it's just a one, because this is what's going to help us in our calculations. In order to work out the masses, what we need to do is to rearrange this equation where mass is equal to number of moles times molar mass. 
Now, in order to get the molar mass, we need to go to the periodic table. Um, molar mass, go to the periodic table. And when we do this, what we find is that water molecules have a molar mass equivalent to two lots of 1.008 plus one lot of 16. So this is 2.016 and 16 is 18. 0.016. Now that is the molar mass of water, and therefore, if it's the molar mass, it's the mass in grams. So if we have two lots of that, we have 2 times 18.016, which is equivalent to 36.032 grams of water. You'll do lots of examples of these in class because they do take a bit of practice getting used to. The same logic occurs if we wanted to work out oxygen. Oxygen is O2, 2 lots of 16 is 32 from the periodic table. And because we just have one mole, then we have 32 grams of oxygen being produced. We'll do lots of these examples in class, but this gives you a little bit of an introduction to some important stoichiometric calculations. Thanks for watching.